It's time for the JavaScript side. Let's talk for a moment about an important fundamental and incredibly powerful aspect of the JavaScript program language that Node.js relies upon. And one that's often misunderstood. It is first class functions and function expressions. Oh, uh, there is terminology alert. First class functions. Everything you can do with other types like strings or numbers, you can do with functions. A lot of major programming languages do not have this feature, but JavaScript does. It's incredibly powerful, but it also makes for some patterns and some appearance in code that you may not be used if you're not used to this uh, in JavaScript or other languages that have this feature. But functions in JavaScript are first class. You can use them just like you use uh, any other type. You can even assign them to variables and put them in arrays. Again, it makes for some powerful patterns and it also allows us to write function expressions. Oh, another terminology alert. An expression. An expression just means a block of code that results in a value, like setting a variable equal to a value. That's an expression. Function expressions are possible in JavaScript because functions are first class. So when I write a string that results in a value, when I write an object or a number, it results in a value. And I can use a function expression to create a function essentially on the fly. All right, let's use node to run some JavaScript and see what this looks like. I have an app.js file open here in Visual Studio Code I'll go ahead and write some JavaScript. We'll start with a function statement. That's the type of function you're used to most likely. I'll just call this function greet. And say hi. And then I'll invoke it. or call the function with parentheses. Oh, oops. I said invoke the function. This is a terminology alert. Invoke just means run the function. If you haven't heard that phrase before, we also say often call the function. So invoke and call, they're same thing. All right, so this is just a normal what's called a function statement. I've declared the function, I've created here, and uh, I've called it. Let's go run this. Uh, I'll go ahead to uh, the terminal and I'll just type node and then app.js and it says hi here. So that's a normal function statement. Now we said that functions in JavaScript are first class. Functions are first class. That means we can pass them around like variables for one thing. So let's say I made a different function called log greeting and I accept the parameter and we'll just call this fn for function and then I'm going to invoke the function now that might look a little strange but we're going to give this function another function this variable uh, here will be a function. We can do that because functions in JavaScript are first class. And then since a function is passed here, I can invoke that function. I can call it, I can say run. So I could say log greeting and that's a function and I'm going to give it a function that it's going to use. So greet is a function. Actually, functions in JavaScript are objects, a special kind of object, and that's why this is possible. So just like I might pass a string to a function or a number to a function, I can pass a function. I can use a function like any other type, like any other type of variable. So here I'm saying call the log greeting function, and this parameter I'm giving it is greet, the greet function. Notice, I'm not putting parentheses here, sorry, here. 
that would actually run the function and I would be giving uh, giving it the result but rather I'm actually literally just giving it uh, the function so what's going to happen well we'll see that fn will be this greet function and then it's going to invoke it which is essentially doing the same as uh, what's right here so we should still see console.log hi being executed so now we should see hi twice here and here so i'll go ahead and run node.js app again and here it is there are two highs get that so this one is run uh, and in this case i use the fact that the functionals are first class to treat uh, this function like any other variable and pass it around and then use it uh, this feels a little strange at first but it's incredibly powerful and in incredibly useful and you'll actually use this concept this feature a lot when you're writing node.js programs now let's see what a function expression looks like remember a function expression is just a special type of expression an expression being uh, a block of code that results in a value so this is an expression uh, i just made a string and this is an expression i just made a number and i can let's say create a variable where greet me and then i can write my function like i with any other value as an expression here and say console.log hi sorry hi reza notice that i wrote the function on the fly uh, it's part of uh, this larger statement so uh, just like I might have put a string here I can write a function that's a function expression this is very powerful again for a number of reasons but what I have here uh, is a variable that now has this function which is actually a special type of object but has this function as its value so I can then call it greet me I can invoke it let's do it this function is anonymous meaning I didn't give it a name here uh, like I did here but my variables point to it so when I run uh, the parentheses the JavaScript engine knows uh, to execute this function to invoke it and it's a still first class it's first class so I could still pass it around I could pass greet me to my uh, log greeting function let's do it log greeting and pass the greet me notice what I just did I used function expression to create a function set a variable equal to that function and call the function and then I use that statement uh, I use that same variable and gave it as a parameter which also invokes that same function in this parameter here in uh, in this function all right so this could be a little confusing I encourage you to try it take a good look uh, give it a try for yourself it becomes pretty clear when you stop and look at it so I could run this in node.js terminal but for clarity's sake uh, let's go ahead and step through the code so I'm going to go to the debug uh, let's uh, make a breakpoint here so I'm going to go to the debug here and I'll hit the start uh, run and debug then I will open the debug console here okay the debugger hits this point 
and I will step over. So my first grid was called and here in the console we, ha we have high and then it goes to the log greeting. I'm going to step in here and I see that fn is the grid function. That's the function that I just passed and so it's going to run it. Let's step over. Okay, you see. And it runs the console log high. Then I'm going to creating a variable called greet me and uh, use a function expression that contains that console uh, dot log. So greet me is now a function and then I can invoke it. Let's invoke it. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass it to log greeting. This time, let's step in. Fn will be that function with uh, no name. You can see here, with uh, this function does not have any name. The anonymous function, the one that's set to greet me, because uh, that's what I pass to it down here, here at the bottom and uh, I'll invoke it here. And if I go to my console, I see Hireza has printed twice. Why? Because I invoked it uh, here and also here. Okay, makes sense. I'm creating functions on the fly and passing them around because functions in JavaScript are first class. All right, now in Visual Studio Code, I could either close this or I could hit a stop. And that stops the code from running and uh, it stops the debugger. Now let's show one uh, more interesting uh, pattern uh, that you'll see a lot. I'm going to use a function expression on the fly. Uh, let's say log greeting and then instead of passing a variable, I'm actually going to write a function. Let's say console.log hi Reza. Notice I wrote the function expression as if I was creating a uh, it has part of the invocation of uh, log greeting. In other words, I could write an actual string. Let's say I could write uh, a string or I could write a number. I could, I could also uh, write a function expression here instead of setting the function to a variable. And log greeting will get this function and execute it. Again, you'll see this kind of pattern a lot. Why we set this function equal to a variable if I'm only going to use it once, for example. So I'll just create the function on the fly and write it here in JavaScript. The JavaScript engine allows this kind of syntax. Uh, it's really very convenient. So if I run this, I'll just uh, go to the console. Let's open the terminal and call the node app.js. See that uh, last high reza? The function was created on the fly uh, here. The function is created on the fly and passed to the log greeting. And log greeting invoked that function. So this is the kind of pattern, the kind of things you can do with first class functions and function expressions in JavaScript. We're going to see this a lot. So if you're not familiar with this pattern, or maybe you have seen it and not fully realized uh, what it was, we're going to use it uh, a lot and see it a lot. And so we needed to understand this in order to understand some of the things uh, that you're going to see in this section. All right, so that's first class functions and function expressions. Let's move on with the course.